Hi, welcome back from our sabbatical. This is our new HQ. So Joe said he was going to sort me an office out when I was down here. I think he might have lied a bit. But behind there is a shed, supposedly. And it definitely, definitely has been used since the war when American airmen lived in there. But I think we might have a little bit of work to do to it. So shall we have a look inside the new production office? So as we said, this was a shed. I mean, the walls look like Jack built them. <laughs> That's an in-joke, he's building another shed at the minute and the walls are really plumb. But yeah, so the plan is... <laughs> it's very safe. When a tree is part of your structural engineering, you know you're doing well. Ow. But yeah, this is going to be our on-site production office. So the new workshop that we'll show in a minute, which is around there, this wall is shared with the new workshop. So the idea is, properly, that we rebuild this in a slap hazard way. <coughs> Definitely not with concrete blocks everywhere. So that we can come throughout the workshop, we've got somewhere to edit film, work, have a bit of a break room. But yeah, so we can actually get more videos out and you lot stop sending me messages saying when's the next video going to be out? Sorry, I had harvest. It's more important. I need to eat, feed myself. It's not but, important anymore. Look, you've got a brand new front door as well. We've got a new door. That came with the shed. Tires. you got super down. singles. because Slug pelleters. Oh. Every good office needs a slug pelleter. Oh yeah, some good ones there. They're actually better than ours. I wonder if Dad don't. even knows they're there. Don't tell him. Yeah, they're ours now. They're a new feed bill. It's already got a workbench in it for your laptop. It's got a roof. Oh, the pan tiles, nice. Don't break them. Probably a quid each. But yeah. I think this roof, to be fair, we just re-roof it. Yeah, that, that ear look is perfect. Uh, oh, so it's, pa one. it's pan tile and then asbestos. Pan tile, asbestos and tree. Or is that concrete fibre? Uh, I'm gonna well, go with it. Well, it's it. definitely not asbestos because we're definitely not gonna bury it in a hole somewhere. No. Never do. The woods will uh, good. A little bit of treating on that will be fine. Oh shit! Yeah, don't look at that bit. But yeah, so this is one of the projects that's coming up. We've also got our new transit super county that we're going to build, or if I get my way, Land Rover, which we'll show you in a second. We've got fire engines on the way, which we went to look at a bit ago. Um, so I'll put that into this video. Joe bought a T34 from somewhere. Don't ask me how some tanks went to Ukraine, a T-34 appeared. I'm not asking too many questions about that. But yeah, um, I think, what, should we show them the new workshop? Yeah. Oh, the new workshop has already been on Joe's channel, which he's got his own channel now. He's stopped being lazy. So I'll stick a link for that down in the description thing. Uh, yeah, so go subscribe to Joe's channel as well, because I'm only down here once a week at most. Joe's here every day. Because he's had to build his own shed at home because commuting one mile to Adam's shed was far too much hard work for him. So he now has his shed at home. So yeah, he'll be putting more updates on that and the stuff that's going off more day to day. So go and subscribe to his channel. He's much better at putting videos out than I am. Not as quite as good at editing them, obviously. But yeah, we'll go have a look at the new workshop, the T-34, the Foden Wrecker, which everyone seems to love. Yeah, should we go have a... Let's go and have a wander. Have a nosy. You know the guy she told you not to worry about? So yeah, those that have been watching Whistling Diesel's content, that's his tank. Bent it. Scratch the paint. I mean, it shows how good quality those American trucks are that he breaks, because he knackers them, gets a piece of British engineering and can't just smash a headlight out of it. Try harder. I'm sure it will. Anyway, this is Joe's new workshop. His entirely yearly profit is in that door. Yeah, that door costs more than everything. <laughs> so yeah, we're no longer working outside. A nice, <clears throat> warm, warm, dry, that looked maybe dry shed to work in. New project number one, which again, if you want to see a lot more of this, go and check Joe's YouTube out. 
he's had some trouble with the engine. I've not done anything to this yet. That's why it's not fucked. So there's a lot more to come on the T34. We'll hopefully have that running in the next couple of months. Hopefully. But that will be at the Harbour at War, which is not Harbour at War anymore. It's Operation Market Harbour. That short tank will be running at that show. Maybe. Um, another one of Joe's projects that's on at the minute, a customer Centurion. You okay. might think that this is the same as the one that was here before. It is, but it's a different tank. Uh, that's in for a clutch and engine, isn't it? Well, it was so supposed to be in for deactivation and a clean. And now it's having... That's turned into a new engine, new gearbox, new clutch, a full paint job. Basically a full restoration, full probably restoration. new tracks. But another cracking vehicle, we'll uh, feature a bit on that. I need to have a tidy up in here, there's literally junk all over the floor. Paddling junk. <laughs> a lot tidier than the other one, isn't it? Um, mm, the, the paint's in better condition, but ta satin. Taylor's is a better tank. Taylor's is a better tank, but I prefer this satin paint. So if you're watching this, Taylor, get your arse into gear and paint your tank. Also, I think we're planning on going to America, aren't we? Hopefully. In the not too distant future. Maybe this year. Because we've got Taylor out there now, who's got the Centurion that was here. And Whistling Diesel is bound to break that Chieftain. So no. hopefully we'll get to go out and fix that for him. I'll never break. No, no. It definitely. I he's, mean, he's the most careful person I know. I mean, he drove it for, what was it, six minutes and ripped the track off it? In, in, in his defence, the track was slack. The track was slack, but putting the tree in between the track and the rollers didn't really help. That was fine. But it loved it. We have got the video of that coming up. I'm waiting on Joe's editor to send me another video that needs to go up first, and then that video will be up. But yeah, so the other project we've got coming up is we're going to build a super county transit. So we'll go have a look at the donor vehicle for that. And I think everyone's up to date, aren't they? You could if that speaker fell down. Who fit it? Joel. Yeah, I'm not going to stand under that. <laughs> CVRTs. Don't read that. <laughs> so these may look like CVRTs. What they actually are is a T72 in disguise. Or at least that's what we're hoping they're going to do. Mark 14 Abrams. Obviously, the MiG-21 in the garden. Ignore all that, because this is the new project. Now, people who watch the channel for a while will remember us dragging this out of uh, Joe's back garden. In fact, I'm pretty sure that cab is where COVID started. It's more than green. Ooh. But we've had... We decided we need a truck for round here because some knobhead American ran over his last yard truck. Naming no names, Cody. So we're going to turn this into our new yard truck. Now, I want to turn it into a Land Rover. That cab obviously is getting ripped off because it's French and it'll just go in reverse. I want to put a Land Rover cab and flatbed on the back. Joe wants to put a Transit cab on. Which probably means it'll end up with a Transit cab because if Joe doesn't get what he wants, he'll throw his toys out of the front. But what we'll actually do is let YouTube choose. So if you comment down below what cab we should put on this, whether it should be a Transit or a Land Rover, you can put other comments in, but we'll just ignore those because you're stupid. But yeah, it's uh, IV coin, do you think? I think so. It's something. Is that good? It does, it does run. It did. I think it might be a Daimler. <laughs> Definitely looks like a V12. Oh, it's another Meteor, we know those. It's a 7BT. But there's some excellent modifications being done to it. That's been transfer box divorced up here for some reason. Leaf springs, which are wonderful. But yeah, we'll put a cab on it, make it run. If that engine doesn't work, we'll put a Cummins in. Has it got diesel in? Dad's locked the fuel tank. There'll be diesel in it then. How your dad leaves diesel in anything? But yeah, so we'll cut now to the fire engines which we definitely didn't break into an airfield to look at. 
Um, those are coming as soon as I've sold my fast track so I can afford to pay for them. And then, yeah, we'll get on with this, get on with the fire engines, fix the Conqueror tank over there. Jobs are good. And Oh yeah, if anyone wants to buy a 432, they're not for sale. <laughs> I think I've had a bad idea. So, you know we want something to go to shows with and maybe move small tanks with. So really we should go and buy a lorry, that'd be sensible. How about instead we buy two fire engines, build one good truck out of the two of them, take the body off so it conveniently splits here, take all the pump out the back, flatbed on, tank transporter or little tank transporter good idea i think it might work i think it's a terrible idea but it's gonna be funny and it helps that these are we think cummins v8s oh, i don't think they are you don't think they are adam told me they are I, I trust adam. No, it might be the eight. So yeah, we need to I need to go sell my tractor first so that I can actually pay for them. But we don't worry about the details like that. Oh but if you want to help us pay for them, tank of t-shirts. Come with free man boobs. But yeah, there if you look down here somewhere, there'll be a link to the shop. Please buy them because I want to buy I want to buy fire engines. But yeah, I think this is one of our very good ideas. We might buy that one as well. That's just cute, isn't it? But I think this is one of our better ideas. So this is the other part of what we want to do. So that bed is 18 foot. The rear space on the back of the uh, fire engine's 15. It gives a nice little bit of overhang. Good strong bed. Right width. I think it's eight foot wide. I'll measure it in a minute, actually. I measured it. But that, on the back of that fire engine, I think will make a cool thing. Main idea being that we can put one of those on it. Or something a similar size. But yeah, so that, plus fire engine, should make quite a cool little tug. Another idea would be we can have a shipping container, we sort of live in accommodation, it can drop on the back for shows. Make a bit of an all round tug. Something that if we're doing a big job, we can take it with us. It'll have the oomph to pull a tank about if we need it to. It'd be a great thing. Oh, that's the mess whistling diesel left of the old gas. Do a video soon on the damage he caused while he were here, what's left of the chieftain. But that's all to come. So for now, we better go in and uh, earn some money to pay for all this. Like I said, if you want to support us, we're doing the Tank Cub t-shirts now. They're down below here, there'll be a link for them. So yeah, if you can, support us. If you can't, keep watching. We'll, uh, we'll get this done as soon as we can. Right, I need to go and sell a tractor now to pay for it. I'll 